a beautiful day out here on Port Phillip Bay. Local wildlife gone mad. Okay, so here's Lollipop Apocalypse uh, T749 McGregor 26X. I'll just take you through a quick walkthrough of the boat. Um, as you can see down here, we've got the short power lead. That's 10 meters of 15 amp lead on the bow. We've got the Schaefer furlough and the chain running back to the anchor locker where there is a uh, Danforth anchor. Plenty of fenders, plenty of good nylon uh, docking lines both here ready for this pier but also in the boat and what you see on the bow here is the boom tent which stretches from the gooseneck uh, back to the end of the boom and then stretches over the bimini to uh, make it completely uh, uh, water, water tight during a light shower um, and stretches over with uh, timber battens to tie onto the lifelines. Um, the good uh, windows at the front and as you can see the gel coat's in very good condition. Master base. We've got the halyards on this side, jib, spinnaker, and main. Uh, the uh, electrical outlet there is for the steaming light, which is halfway up the mast. And the anchor light is not there because we raised that up on a halyard that's battery operated. We've got the Tactics uh, wireless wind instrument up the top. That uh, feeds wind, apparent wind, and speed, angle and speed, down to a um, unit at the helm, which we'll have a look at. Coming back to the cockpit area, got the, cushions, got the main seat cushions. Also got cushions that go around the outside. I tend not to use those. Um, from the bow, sorry, from the Genoa back or the jib back. There's two tracks. This track here is for the number two jib and that runs down around the outside to these number one pulleys and track and down to the uh, self-tailing winches here which are very easy to get to from the helm. So if you're single-handed sailing um, plenty of opportunity to uh, adjust the sails whilst you're still steering the boat. At the back here we've got the very quiet Yamaha 50 horsepower with twin drop rudders and a boarding ladder and you can see the blue that is the shore power going uh, into the system. Rudders up and down so the blue rope there that's the, uh, the rudder kick up and the, uh, the green is the uh, rudder pull up system. There's a the helm station. Plenty of rope bags. I'll just climb aboard. Bimini is in good shape. And that's, that comes across to the, pretty much to here. Uh, and uh, normally I'll just raise the um, raise the boom up on the topping lift and get that out of the way for Bimini. Coming around, taking a view inside, some more bags there. Here's the entrance, that's the head with a uh, pouch on the front to uh, the storage. On the other side, we've got the galley with some storage. Let's turn that motor off. And now 
Now coming inside, there we go. We have our saloon with the uh, that's the Ray Marine um, E7 7 inch touchscreen that uh, gives us fish finder, depth, GPS, tracking, and all the rest. There's the couch on the left, so you can, as you can see, you can easily fit six or seven people here. Moving forward, here's the V berth. The left side's around about six foot long, the right side's about five foot nine, um, but is easily extended simply by uh, removing. that and then you've got seven foot of, uh, of v-birth very spacious boat and uh, of course under the cockpit is the king-sized double berth swing that Ladder out of the way. And that's a very comfortable place to sleep. Other than that, brand new cushions or cushion covers. We've got the standard switch panel there, stereo, VHF cutlery and crockery or crockery and the 240 volt circuit breaker and power cords power outlets and the charger charger maintains a triple charge as you can see we've got 